Hey, this is Keith from Outlaw Speed Shop, and here's part two of a Buick Custom that I attempted to do. Um, this is going to be a short video. This thing turned into a little bit of a shit show um, between losing footage and not really getting the results I was kind of hoping for. Uh, a little recap, I had stripped it in the last episode. The body was pretty bad, so I was patching it up and pretty much left off where I was going to be applying custom paint. So here we are. All right, so after doing the body work, which I got to the best I, you know, the best of my ability, um, use the spot putty, uh, glazing putty actually is what it's called. It worked out pretty good. Um, gave it a quick prime after. And overall, considering how bad it was, it was pretty good. You can see me pointing to the hood there. I ended up shaving off the, uh, there was a little piece of molding on there that I took off. I just sanded the hell out of it until it went away. So I primed the, um, the base as well because I was pretty beat. So I'm using this uh, um, sealer black and uh, I'm using it on the base. Um, worked out really well. I, I really like the way it lays on. Uh, it's nice and clean and it pretty much acts like a primer so you can sand it or do whatever. Uh, real, real happy with it. So now it's time to put the wheels on. You can see these wheels are off an Econoline Hot Wheels. I had to shave the um, little tabs off on the inside of the wheels, almost like a hub, uh, just because the thickness of the body to the frame, it was a little tight. So to get them to fit in there, I had to pretty much grind them down flush. Um, I always keep old Hot Wheels wheels kicking around. And I use it because I can cut the axles sometimes and use them um, if I'm using like a brass rod. I use a 1 brass rod. Um, so it worked out pretty good. You can see it there. Um, so here is kind of where I wanted to go. Um, I'm working with... Um, I'm going to go two-tone, silver roof and a blue candy body. Um, so I'm starting with a pearl silver base, and um, this is pretty decent. You can mix it uh, with some 40-30 from Createx as well. And I put about 30% in there. I didn't go the full. You can go up to 50. I went with 30. Um, I stir it up then. I add the hardener. Um, stir that up and then I let it sit for you know, five to ten minutes before applying. Um, here's where I start losing a little bit of footage. Um, I got very little of me painting, which probably works out good because <laughs> it was a shit show. Um, so it gave really nice look to it. Um, it's got a, you know, there's no clear coat on this. It's just a nice shine. Um, but then I ended up getting some stuff in the mail. Um, I get the sparkalescent silver which I put on and this stuff is awesome. It's got a really nice metal flake to it. Um, and I thought that would be perfect because that's what I want for the roof and it would be a great base for the candy blue I'm gonna apply over. Um, and again, it worked out okay. I'm just not 100% happy. Um, not for anything, I think it was just the way I applied. So I'm gonna mask off the roof and just to kind of give you an idea, and this is where I lost all my footage. Um, this is what I started with, and you can see this thing is beat to shit. The windows are destroyed. Um, I got managed to get most of that back, um, and again, I apologize for for losing a lot of this footage. Um, I don't know what happened. My uh, go, between my GoPro and my T7i, I, you'd think I would have gotten something usable, but I didn't. Um, you know, the the big thing here is I masked off the roof, and outside it looks good. You can see. Um, the the metal flake really well here um, in the sunlight the problem ended up being with the clear coat and you can see it's almost got like a um, orange peel effect and I couldn't sand it off um, so that's really where the problem is it's not sitting flat um, but that's mainly because of the shitty ass base that it's sitting on um, but you can see the metal flake right there. I mean, it really looks good. The metal, the clear coat I used was a 1K clear. I got it at the uh, auto body shop, and I've used it before and had really good success. For some reason, it had a reaction this time, and I'm not sure why. I waited at least a day before I cleared it. Um, but it 
just didn't work out. To get to this point, I did some some samples, um, some blue over silver, like candy blue over silver, some candy blue mixed with pearl blue over silver, um, some green candy with green pearl over black, and then I did the truck, which was a copper over black with a red candy. Uh, I learned a lot this week. I, I This one didn't come out the way I wanted it to, but unfortunately, you know, when you're learning something new, that's what happens. I got called out by Diecast Resurrection, uh, who has a YouTube channel here. Please check it out. I'll make sure to put the link in the description below. Um, he's kicking ass with these Createx candies and pearls and everything else. Some, I think he has a secret that he doesn't tell us. <laughs> But um, this shit looks really good, and you got to watch it. But I got called out. we got to do a video. We're each going to do a candy paint job on any 164 scale car. And the video is going to be out next Saturday, March 9th. So um, I already started on that, and it looks really, really good. Um, so I, all these trial and error things that I've gone through for the past week and a half to two weeks, um, hopefully I think I've learned my lessons, and... Um, We'll find out when it gets applied to the car that I'm applying it to for this Build Candy Challenge. And, um, you know, whenever you're learning something new, you know, it's it's hard to not get frustrated. But, um, you know, I left this video the way it is because it goes to show you that not, not every car goes as expected. And um, actually, this is almost my second one in a row that really didn't turn out as good as I thought it would. Um, but regardless, it is what it is, and um, you live and learn, and I think I've got a system down now that works really well for me in the way I paint, so I appreciate you guys watching. Sorry for the shitty video. <laughs> um, make sure you subscribe, like, comment, share if there's something you want to see me do, let me know, uh, or if you just want me to shut up, that works too. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.